Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Fantastic! I love these freaking videos. You guys keep sending this to, for us to watch, and I think it's only fair that we check it out. This new is the Gen new Gen, Gen Divas, but doing a 90s who got hits. What does who got mean? I have no idea. <laughs> that's the, that's what I was here to ask. Maybe biggest hits. Who got means big. Dude. Who got means big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, man. Yeah, I, I like doing I this, go. mate. I like, I like this whole recording. I, I, I'll thing. go with that. I'll go with that. Yes, yes. Very happy, and I'm happy that all of you enjoy it as well. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Damn. Yes, Jenny. Those fucking earrings. so scary though, no post. And it's life life, oh. like this is what happens on TV, they won't even get like, give them like a second chance no or anything. No post production, nothing. it's live, go on. No. Feel different. Feel different. Turn it up, yeah. Perdín, ¿no? I have no idea what song this is. 90, 90s kids represent. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hera and I weren't alive for that. No? Nope. You guys didn't know? She's like my age. I think she's younger than you. Change the key, thank the Lord. Yeah, we're more comfortable. I love her too, she's so cool. bloody clue what any of these songs are how much huh. in the 90s like all the way through the 90s Sega, i would think so yeah from 1990 all the way so because i just scraped by but mm -hmm. all of them i think are younger than me yes so they, i think all of them are born in the 2000s or 2000s well i say this and something they're all young enough that they understand tiktok better than me uh-huh but to be fair all my mates understand tiktok better than me as well. i think anyone and understands they're all contemporary <laughs> to me i think Understands TikTok better than you. Yeah, Mum comes out, she starts dancing. The tum, tum, she knows all the latest trends, okay? That's really old. She knows oh, all the latest trends. Is that, is that gone? Is yes. That gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gone. Bro. All right, sorry, apologies. <laughs> Catch up, bro. Apologies. What was your point, though? <laughs> like, I don't recognize any of these songs, so they probably <laughs> okay. never did they. No, but in the Philippines, they reliving and re-singing these hits from the 90s is like is it is part of the culture as well as you know with the karaoke mm. culture oh, true, true, true. okay go so you, you sing all these hit hits yeah okay they're probably familiar with all of them already love the choice of makeup here it's very minimal just to enhance her natural beauty i love that Still no no live crowds I would imagine. No. Texture though. 
drama. What the hell it is? Sense of maturity in that voice. I'm telling you, there's so much familiarity with the songs already, and you can tell. All right. Holy fuck. To Welcome to the Philippines, Philippines dude. <laughs> what is that song? That's the song from Hercules, isn't it? No. <laughs> yeah, that's that song where she goes. Dun, 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 by the way, he that's sold his song. soul to the devil. <laughs> to save... God damn it, that movie, that movie scarred me, dude. The way, the, way I look, yeah, the way I look at relationships and the way I, I form my relationships with women have been shaped through Disney movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, haven't everybody else, though? <laughs> I think that I think Disney is uh, is at fault. It's the, it's the guilty one for creating really high standards on all the little girls. Oh, no. Having all these really handsome princes. Oh, piss off. And... Hercules had biceps that were probably 24 inches. You know, so did men. We grew up like that as well, thinking that Hercules' body was normal with fucking 75 inch <laughs> singular <Chest. pecs. laughs> You know, he has a chest of 300 inches. Yeah. You know? So, yes, Disney fucked us all, okay? It is, it Go did, on. it did, it did. <laughs> But I wouldn't shunt you for the world. No, no, no. Good music. <laughs> no, great music. Great entertainment overall. It's not the same song. Oh. She reminds me of a little bit of Kyla. Oh, that's true. I'm not familiar with her though. This is the first time. I've seen her before. You see those choices? Really cool choice though. I definitely wouldn't have thought, oh yes, go lyrical. Interesting. What? It's such a cool choice. It's different for sure. Somebody send me a video of her. I wonder why her background is. It's very theatrical. Very theatrical. She has beautiful skin as well. Gorgeous. I love this girl. Ella. Yes. Holy shit. Harmonies! Wow! Yes, Ella! Alright, alright, alright! 
interesting, right? That like, especially with Ella, like she seems to have this sort of sense of maturity. I think also because she is perhaps leaning more towards. Uh, I mean, again, who the fuck? How do I know? But I'm just. It seems that because she's creating more than ever, mm. like in this last two years, right? And I think also, well, she did start very young, mm -hmm. right? And now it's kind of, and she's also, I guess, turning into a woman, right? Like that's one of the things about these girls. It's like, it'd be the same if I was their age and I was like in the spotlight like that. It's like, everyone's seeing me turn into a man. That's right. You know, everyone's seeing me turn into a grown up. So it's really interesting, like even the sense of maturity that they, they all provide with the piece, it's fucking mental. Yeah, it, it, plus seeing them and grow up, and it's it, there's also this um, comfort. There's there's comfort that comes uh, that comes with being on stage so often, yeah. and they they've really found it. Like they really have it down to a T. And it's, they they found the grounding, and these are some of the most exhausting is mental spaces to put yourself through. Live shows on TV are just it, it, things to be feared. And, <laughs> and they this really is are. ruthless, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Whatever happens, happened. Absolutely. That's it. And the fact that they haven't had like a shit performance. <laughs> it's on. mad. It just shows It just shows the level of comfort. Yeah. I'm sure if you ask them, they'll be like, oh no, maybe that one wasn't as good or whatever. <laughs> but it's like... Uh, yeah, come on. It's like, yeah. you were fine. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Ah, it's just so good. Also, blue is her color. Oh, dude, bro, that band is eating that shit up. Her, she is, though. Listen to this. When she's selling tickets. <laughs> what a performance, dude! Ah, uh, she's just so good. Hey, la nympha, fuck! Ladies and gentlemen, woo! Everybody must adapt to that style. Oh. It's hard. And it's not their natural style for a lot of them. Nice. <laughs> Somebody look at her. She's looking for help. <laughs> ah, they figured it out. They did, they did. But I think that's it's interesting, always, right? Yeah, because it's always one of those moments. Like I think when you're looking for visual Feedback. contact, yeah, it's not just to like, oh, tell me I'm doing it right. But it's like, let's do this together, right? So this is where I'm going. Where are you going? Is is more of like an open line of questioning between between one another. But it is teamwork um, at that point, right? It is. It is. I mean, it's the the grand finale. Yeah, dude, that piece, that last song, what the and that band, that was like that was like a yeah. Sell the choice. tickets, Doug. Yeah, definitely great choice to finish it up with. Yeah. I, I totally agree. However, the interesting bit is that, like, is for example, the the easiest way to explain this is uh, outside of music. 
and and probably with other things that are easier to understand it's like having uh mixed martial artists and everyone's good at different things yeah and then because it is a team because it is a team you make them all finish with one type of martial arts mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. some are going to be some are going to be more comfortable than others mm-hmm. in singing is the same some are you know naturally more lyrical singers others are more soul and and R&B fusion singers you know Ella's a good example of that um other are more pop forward right but then when you have this kind of medleys which force you to then adapt this is what makes it good right it's like yes. it's good training ground and you obviously then become one of the most adaptable singers that you could ever become but it does have that downside that it's like oh fuck it's like how do i play to my best asset when my best asset is not at yeah. this play and obviously keys and arrangements and mm-hmm. Comfort with the style all matter, but again, it's impressive to me that they haven't had a shit performance. It is when they do nuts. it so often, and yes. it's all one go, and whatever goes, that's what's on TV. Oh. That's right, and the only help you get is the teleprompter, and that's it. That's it, and Dude. obviously the rehearsals. But I, look, from what we've known, a, a lot of these these guys and girls is like sometimes they get a call on the night before. Uh, sometimes they get one run of rehearsals, yeah. knowing that there are some other. Uh, there's a lot of other artists that will be performing the same day. Crazy. Dude. It's actually pretty crazy to understand that it's is cool. It's so cool what they're able to achieve in this environment. Like it blows my freaking mind every single time because vocal delivery is impeccable, performance is impeccable, uh, uh, professionalism between them is outstanding awesome. yeah. the understanding of the environment is you know paramount and i think everything that you watched here it's worth studying worth taking your time to go back to the original video look at it re-listen to it and because uh, it's it, it's it's fantastic well let us know you guys thoughts about it and goodbye That's Adios. Right. salamat po